Watch us on YouTube and Facebook. Listen to our podcast and support us on Patreon. Thanks for stopping by. Rosseth unto the mountain, send forth light, O mountain. Let radiance arise from that which hath devoured me, and which hath slain men, and is filled with the slaughter of the gods. Breath to you, O ye who dwell in the light in your habitations, my splendors shall be to you. I have decreed their slaughter, and they have slaughtered everything that existeth. I have hidden you from those who are upon the earth, restoring the crown, or tiara, to those who are on the mountain. Let this jackal-headed scepter emit the words of this great God, who joineth together his members. Come then unto us, O thou from whom we have come forth. Cries of joy are to thee, O thou who art in thy disc, thou great God whose forms, or transformations, are manifold. Their provisions consist of bread cakes and beer. These gods have come into being from Ra, and his substance, and have emerged from his eye. He hath decreed for them, as a place, or abode, the hidden mountain, Amit set, which consumeth men, and gods, and all cattle, and all reptiles which are created by this great God. This great God hath decreed the plans, or designs, thereof having made, them, to spring up in the earth which he created. The hidden place. These are those who have consumed the men, and the gods, and all the cattle, and all the reptiles which this great God hath created. This great God hath decreed plans for them after he made them spring up in the land which he created, that is to say, in the Amentet which he made. He who is over, i.e., has the mastery over, this door openeth to Ra saw Seth unto Sat Set, open thy door to Ra, throw wide open thy door to Kudi. The hidden abode is in darkness, so that the transformations of this God may take place. This portal is closed after this God hath entered in through it, and there is a lamentation on the part of those who are in their mountain, when they hear this door shut. This great, great God journeyeth along the roads of the Tuat. This God is drawn by the gods of the Tuat, to make divisions, or distinctions, in the earth, and to work out, his, designs therein, to weigh words and deeds and aim it, to magnify the great God above the little God among the gods. Who are in the Tuat, to place the Ku, i.e., the blessed dead, upon, their thrones, and the damned, in the place, to which they have been condemned in the judgment, and to destroy their bodies by an evil death. O grant ye to me that I may restore the tiara, and that I may have possession of, my, shrine which is in the earth. Let Sa and Hika unite themselves to me for the working out of plans for you, and for making to come into being their attributes, or, forms, ye, have, what is yours. Isis hath made to be at peace the wind, and offerings are there. None shutteth the door against you, and the damned do not enter in after you. That which belongeth to you is to you, O gods. There is darkness on the road of the Tuat, therefore let the doors which are closed be unfolded. Let the earth open, so that the gods may draw along him that hath created them. Their food, i.e., the food of these gods, is of the funeral offerings, and their drink is from their cool waters, and their hands are on meat offerings among the accurt regions of Ament. These are they who have worshipped, or praised, Ra upon the earth, who uttered words of power against Apep, who made their offerings unto him, and who burnt, literally, made incense to their gods on their behalf, after their offerings. They have gained possession of their cool waters, and they receive their meat, and they eat of their offerings in the gateway of him whose name is hidden. Their meat is by the gateway, and their offerings are with him. Who is therein? Your, your offerings are yours, ye have power over your cold waters, your souls shall never be hacked to pieces, your meat shall never fail, O ye who have praised me, and have vanquished a pet for me. These are they who spake truth upon the earth, and who were not addicted to an evil thought about the gods. They make their invocations in this gateway, they live upon Mot, i.e., Truth, and their cool waters are in their cisterns. Truth is yours, live ye on your food. Ye yourselves are Truth, and they have power over these their cool waters, which are waters of fire to those who have guilt and sin. Tem worketh on behalf of Ra, glorifying the God, 
and singing praises to his soul, and distributing evil things to his enemies. The word of my father rise right, mot, against you, and my word is right against you. I am the son who proceedeth from his father, and I am the father who proceedeth from his son. Ye are fettered, and ye are tied with a strong cord, and it is I who have sent forth the decree concerning you that ye should be bound in fetters. Your arms shall never more be opened. Ra pronounceth the formula against you. His soul is prepared to attack you. My father hath gained the mastery over you, and his soul uttereth words against you. Your evil deeds have turned against you. Your plottings have come upon you. Your abominable acts have recoiled upon you. Your destinies are for evil, and your doom hath been decreed before Ra. Your unjust and perverted judgments are upon yourselves, and the wickedness of your words of cursing is upon you. Evil is the doom which hath been decreed for you before my father. It is you who have committed sins, and who have wrought iniquity in the great hall. Your corruptible bodies shall be cut in pieces, and your souls shall have no existence, and ye shall never again see Ra with his attributes, as he journeyeth in the hidden land. Hail, Ra! Adored be Ra! Thine enemies are in the place of destruction. When this, when this god cometh to this gateway, to enter in through this gateway, the gods who are therein acclaim this great god, saying, Let this gateway be unfolded to Kudi, and let the doors be opened to him that is in heaven. Come then, O thou traveler, who dost journey in Amentet. He who is over this door openeth it to Ra. Open thy gate to Ra, unfold thy door to Kudi. He shall illumine the darkness, and he shall force a way for the light in the habitation which is hidden. This door is closed after the great God hath entered through it, and there is a lamentation to those who are in their gateway when they hear this door close upon them. This great God is towed along by the gods of the Tuat, and this great God advanceth to the boat of the earth, which is the bark of the gods. Hail, ye gods who bear up his boat of the earth, and who lift the bark of the Tuat, may there be a support to your forms and light unto your bark. Holy is he who is in the boat of the earth. I make to go back the bark of the Tuat which beareth my forms, or, attributes, and verily I travel into the hidden habitation to perform the plans which are carried out therein. Praised be the soul which the double bull hath swallowed, and let the god be at peace with that which he hath created. Praised be Ra, whose soul hath been absorbed by the earth god. Praised be the gods of Ra who hath rested therein. This boat of its Tuat rejoiceth, and there are cries from them after Ra hath passed them as he journeyeth on his way. Their offerings are the plants of the year, and their offerings are given to them when they hear the words of those who draw along this great, this great god. O ye Tau of the earth, whose duty it is to stand, near his habitation, whose heads are uncovered, and whose arms are hidden, may there be air to your nostrils, O Tau, and may your funeral swathings be burst open, and may you have the mastery over your meats, and may you have peace, or crest, in that which I have created. Their food is of bread cakes, and their bread is made of the red grain, the draughts which they drink are of cool water and their meat is given unto them because of the whiteness, or brilliance, of their apparel in the Tuat. Those who are in, their shrines are the members of the god whose shrines the serpent said he guarded. Open ye the doors of your shrines, so that my radiance may penetrate the darkness in which ye are. I found you weeping and lamenting, with your shrines tightly closed, but air shall be given to your nostrils, and I have decreed that ye shall have an abundance to overflowing in all things. Dot. Hail, Ra, come thou into our lake, O thou great God who never failest. The Shena gods who are before and behind him pay homage to him, and they rejoice in Ra when he traverses their region, and when the great God journeyeth through the secret place. Their food consists of loaves of bread, their drink is made from the red, barley, and their cool waters come from, their cisterns of water, and the serpent of fire, Seti, giveth unto them the things whereon they live there. The door which shutteth them in closeth after this god hath passed through their midst, and they utter cries of grief, when they hear their doors shut upon them. Here is the lake of water which is in the Tuat, and it is surrounded by the gods who are arrayed in their apparel, and who have their heads uncovered. This lake is filled with green herbs. The water of this lake is boiling, and the birds betake themselves to flight, when they see the waters thereof, 
and when they smell the foe, it's smell which is in it. O ye gods whose duty it is to guard the green herbs of your lake, whose heads core uncovered, and whose limbs are covered with garments, may there be air to your nostrils, and may offerings be made to you of the green herbs, and may your meat be from your lake. The water thereof shall be yours, but to you it shall not be boiling, and the heat thereof shall not be upon your bodies. Come thou unto us, O thou who saliest in thy boat, whose eye is of blazing fire which consumeth, and hath a pupil which sendeth forth light. The beings of the Tuat shout with joy when thou approaches, send forth thy light upon us, O thou great God who hast fire in thine eye. Their food consists of loaves of bread and green herbs, and their drink, or beer, is of the Kemtet plants, and their cool water is from their cisterns of water. And the food shall be given unto them in abundance from this lake. The first group shows us what Tem hath done for Ra, and how he hath protected the god by words of magical power, and hath overthrown the serpent Seba. Thou art prostrate, and thou shalt never more rise, thou art enchanted by my enchantments, and thou shalt never more be found. The word of my father is mod against thee, and my word is mod against thee. I have destroyed thee for Ra, and I have made an end of thee for Kudi. Thy head is slit, O Apep, thy folds are gashed, thou shalt never more envelop the boat of Ra, and thou shalt never again make a way into the divine bark. A flame of fire goeth out against thee from the hidden place, and we have condemned thee to thy dire doom. They, i.e., the nine gods of the company of Ra, live upon the food of Ra, and upon the cakes of Kentimenti, for offerings are made on their behalf upon the earth, and libations of cool water are made unto them by the Lord of Food, or, as Lords of Food, before Ra. Inasmuch as ye are the gods who possess the life and scepter, i.e., authority, and who have mastery over your scepters, drive ye back the serpent Seba from Kudi, gash ye with knives the fowl, and evil serpent after you. These are the gods who work enchantments on Apep, who open the earth to Ra, and who shut it against Apep in the gates of Kentiamenti. They are those who are in the hidden place, and they praise Ra, and they destroy his enemies, and they protect the Great One against the serpent Apu, and they utter cries of joy at the overthrow by Ra of the enemy of Ra. They live upon the meat of Ra, and on the cakes offered to Kentiamenti. Offerings are made on their behalf upon the earth, and they receive libations through, their word being mod and aimant, and holy are they of an arm in their hidden place. They utter cries to Ra, and they make lamentation for the great God after he hath passed by them, for when he hath departed they are enveloped in darkness, and their circle is closed upon them. Watch us on YouTube and Facebook. Listen to our podcast and support us on Patreon. Thanks for stopping by. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments.